Okay guys, this is Social Fire and the new campaign information has dropped for JP. So the new campaign is Dokkan Rally and it starts on the 31st. So we're gonna take a look at everything coming up here for that. So first off, we have login bonuses starting on the 31st and they'll be going through November 21st. So I say this every time guys, broken record here, make sure you log in every day. You'll get tickets, you get lots of great stuff just from logging in. So make sure you take advantage of that guys. Also, missions look like they'll be broken up into three parts this time, so we'll take a closer look at that more in just a moment. The Dokkan Festival for Transforming Cooler is also starting on the 31st, so I'm really excited to see this personally. This unit is amazing. It literally has one of the craziest super attacks in the game now. And on his banner, we also have the new Thousand unit as well, so again, that drops later on the 31st JP time and we'll be here through November 21st. Also, we have the category banner for the new category Conquest of Terror, which will be starting on the 31st through the 21st. So again, this is the new category, a great opportunity there to pick up units for that as well. Dragonstone sales will also be starting on the 31st and will be available through the 19th. So if you purchase stones through the shop, make sure you take advantage of that as well. And then we have a new stage being added to the Cooler Dokkan event to Dokkan Awaken Transforming Cooler. So that'll start on the 31st and will be available through the 21st. Also, there's the revamped uh, story event for Cooler here. Uh, this is for the free-to-play tech cooler. So he can be used to level up the essay for the Transforming Cooler as well. Definitely keep that in mind, but he is a great free-to-play unit as well. Also, the EZA area for the Agility Super Saiyan Goku, Trollhan, and Physical Piccolo will be starting on October 31st. So again, all of those units are getting uh, EZAs. Very excited about that. Uh, about time, really. So definitely looking forward to that as well. Also, interesting here, it looks like the Hero Extermination Story events may become permanent. Um, so I'm not 100% sure. It just gives a start date of 31st but there's no real end date there. So it's either becoming possibly permanent or at least daily for a certain period of time. So again, uh, it would be nice not waiting until weekends for that. And then the story events for the free to play LR, Goku and Raleigh are all returning as well, the 31st through the 21st of November. Also returning is the Dragon Ball Super Story event. It's coming back on the, uh, looks like the 10th. So it's been out actually. <laughs> and then, uh, it'll be here through November 21st. So these, uh, Four great free to play units here. So if you did not farm them up last time, make sure you take advantage of that as well. And then the Elder Kai banners will be up uh, November 1st through November 16th, and then the 16th through December 1st. So again, those have become a permanent fixture as well. You can do it twice a month, uh, it resets on the 16th. So again, a great opportunity to pick up Kai's if you need to awaken units. Weekend missions will also be returning uh, for weekend tickets and various things there. So that starts on November 2nd and will be here through November 4th. And then Battlefield resets on the 4th as well and will be available through the 29th. Weekend summons are also returning to JP. So Global currently has this. So I uh, was thinking it would probably be coming to JP soon. So the weekend summons are coming back confirmed and the first weekend starts on the 4th of November. So this is going on each weekend through the 23rd. Interesting here, it looks like the GT Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta units will no longer be global exclusive either. It looks like they are coming to JP as well. And then uh, these are basically talking here about, um, you know, missions related to the weekend summons. You'll have the weekend or weekday mission, excuse me, Monday through Friday, and then the weekend mission Saturday through Sunday. So those are all referring to that there. A little too fast there. So next, we have another EZA announced here. It is for Strength Omega Shenron. So there's a Dokkan Fest for EZAs here, and it is confirmed that he is the next EZA coming up as well. And then the category banner below is for the Kamehameha category, which will be the advantage in the Omega Shenron EZA. So again, all that is starting on November 7th through November 21st. And then the actual EZA for uh, Mega Shenron will drop on the 7th, and again, we'll be here through the 21st. And then Tech Beerus' EZA will be returning the 7th through the 21st as well. 
And then the Dokkan events for both of those units will also be available daily starting on the 7th through the 21st. Um, Beerus's will be available through the 29th. All of the GT story events are returning as well on November 7th and will be here through the 21st. So again, I'm not going to go over each of these individually. You can see here all of these story events will be returning. And Battle of the Gods, the story event is also returning as well. So if you have units that need awakening medals from that, definitely take advantage of that. So that's everything that we have here, guys. We'll take a quick look at the first part of the missions here. So again, it looks like they're splitting it up into three parts. As you can see, the first part or part one of the missions will start October 31st through November 7th. And then you'll have part two, November 8th through November 14th. And then part three will be November 15th through November 21st. So again, um, daily missions will go on throughout the whole period there. So we'll cover what we currently have here. So there's really only one daily mission, which is clear stage three times for one Dragonstone. Definitely easy enough to complete there. Then the part one missions are as follows. Limited missions for part one are clear a quest one time for 20 awakening medals and then 50 awakening medals here for the Gregory's. Clear a story event three times for 20 incredible gems. Clear a story event five times for hidden potential orbs. It looks like it's five of the large orbs, 50 of the medium orbs, and 100 of the small orbs of each type. Then clear a story event 10 times for one silver Hercule statue. Next, we have clear a specified category, three awakening medals for that and 10 awakening medals here. And then exchange for an item in Baba Shop, so easy enough to do there, you'll get two Senzu Beans. Use at least 10,000 Zenny for one Hercule statue, one of the gold Hercule statues. Then raise SA level two, three for one incredible hourglass. Raise SA level for any unit to level five for two sleeping Kai's. And then raise SA level to 10 for one elder Kai. And then complete all part one missions for three dragon stones. So again, that's split up into each part. So that is just for part one there. So anyways, guys, that wraps it up for the information on the new campaign for Dokkan Rally. So let me know what you think about everything and if you're excited for Cooler coming up, because like I said, this guy is insane. I'm personally very excited to, um, you know, see this dropping. I'll probably be summoning on it myself because uh, his super attack has easily become one of my favorites in the game now, especially his transformation. It is just crazy good. So I'm very, very excited about this, as I know most of you guys are. So we're going to wrap it up here, guys. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.